Hey guys, it's 21 Maxwell here and welcome to Unlucky for Some episode 13 of the Racing Ball Sport Leipzig Challenge. As you know, we're obviously in the second tier of German football. And we've played a couple of games since our poor start to the season. And as you can see, it started to pick up a little bit. After obviously the defeat to Karusha in the last video, we took on Hertha Berlin in the German Cup first round, where we had an absolute great time of it. Claudio Pitbull put his 1-0 up. Daniel Fran then made it 2-0 in the second half before Pierre-Michel Lasonga pulled one back. But Fran then scored a minute later to make it 3-1 on the night and put us into the second round. You know, their teams took a lot of hits. Still got a couple of decent players there because obviously they've been relegated. It's not as good a Hertha team as it is in real life. Still, a win over them is a massive, massive achievement considering where we came from. So that puts us into the second round, and as you can see, on the 24th of September, we have the biggest game in the club's history in the second round against Bayern Munich, so what an occasion that's going to be, and I am looking forward to that. But back to league business, on the 10th we took on Energy Cottbus, Pitbull again scoring, then getting injured moments later, but thankfully that gives a 1-0 victory there. We also lost Max Clayton as well. That gave us a chance to bring on the likes of Daniel Fran again and also use the likes of Yusuf Poulsen too. Next game after that was then a, a trip to Hertha in the league. You're thinking revenge is probably on the, on the agenda for them. But nope. Our young Scottish right back, Stephen O'Donnell, struck after 44 minutes. An absolute screamer and that gave us the three points there. You'll notice injured in the third minute was Jesse Lingard who was making his debut, so he lasted three minutes before being taken off. And uh, he's out for five to six weeks, so he won't appear again for a wee while, but that's our like, marquee signing, who hopefully could take us to the Bundesliga. We then travelled to St Pauli on the Friday night. Georges de Teagle put us 1-0 up. Martin Kobolanski made it 1-1 at half-time. Fran decides to score again for 3-2-1. They get a dodgy penalty which Kochke scores, so I was thinking, right, we're probably going to get a point. But luckily, right after it, Daniel Fran, 3-2, and somehow we managed to hang on. Which makes the result even more remarkable is the fact that they had 61% possession to our 39. And we only had 5 shots, 4 of which were in target, so meaning we took 3 of those 4 chances in our victory here. And then we finished up a home to Bochum before the end of the transfer window. There's loads of chances, couldn't take them. Tried to change stuff, wouldn't work. And Lukas Sinchkowicz made it 1 0 in the 73rd minute. And unfortunately, we couldn't get that equaliser, which means we end that, ended that run in August and the start of September there with a defeat. And that puts us, as you can see, with the league table, seventh place. It's pretty tight, you know. It's only two points off the top. If we'd have won that game, believe it or not, we would have been top of the table. So that just shows you how tight it is. If we can keep bunched up there, keep up with the big teams, and hopefully, never mind try to survive relegation, hopefully we can push to be in the Bundesliga next season. So it's looking not bad. Hopefully, we say we can get a good year on the form and kick on and get into these top three positions. As far as the next video goes, the next video will probably have a recap of Cologne, Frankfurt, Braunschweig, and then we'll probably do a live commentary at the time of the German Cup game against Bayern. So there's not really much else to cover in this video. There's just those couple of matches you can see. The only other transfer was um, Jesse Lingard brought in this guy on a free. He's more and more for the future. Hussein Dabe or Diabe, sorry. And we brought in Hendrik Bonman on loan from Dortmund. Good potential. Another goalkeeper option. So I'm happy with that. Apart from that, we've released Marco Babic. And that's pretty much it. So say it's 7th place after 6 rounds of fixtures in the Bundesliga 2, a decent start considering the board are hoping for just survival, so I mean it's, it's pretty good, hopefully we can kick on and get a good season. And that is it for this video guys, pretty short one, but I'll say just a quick update to let you know, we have Bayern Munich coming up soon and that's going to be an amazing just an amazing day, amazing moment for this club and hopefully we can put in a solid performance and keep it competitive. But until then guys, it's on Maxwell again and thank you for watching. Bye.